What's up? It's your boy Young Jack to be the soft guy. Uh, to start, as far as experiences go, I learned a lot. We have a lot of different, like eight of us in the class, so a lot of us have different specialties. We learned a lot from each other as far as like the class went. We all just like taught each other new things, learned a lot. Man, it was a, it was a good growing experience, great class. Would I take it over again? Yeah, as long as I don't have a time limit, because time limits and procrastination don't go together. So I'm gonna start with uh, my concentrations first. This is one of my first concentrations. And for this one, I was trying to use more mixed media. Because my, um, my concentration theme is the power of fiction. So like my friend Keanu, he's really smart. So he gave me like a Green Lantern vibe. My friend Morgan, she's a pretty fierce person. She gives me that Catwoman vibe. And then me, I know I'm a pretty goofy, clowny person. So I was like, definitely Spider-Man. What I did for this one, I spray painted the background. I did a stencil here to kind of create the like, towers. I drew out all the heroes and uh, I just inked them and colored them in with color pencil and created the characters of who they were. Took a picture of everybody in the class and kind of just slapped it on top of the hero. And uh, for this, I did like a little metal sheeting on this because my theme was that it, um, that everybody's heroic. It's just kind of trapped in, what was it? It was like trapped in a jar. I got the quote, I'll find it later. Um, the lid also comes off. Have it sticked on like a velcro so, so this one i call it the development of sauce because you know i'm the sauce guy the point of this is to be a picture and a picture within a picture so what i did was i started with the me when i was very little and i used some of the metal sheeting again to kind of create this cage effect but i took a picture of my actual self when i was a baby and i put it inside of this cage which was in another drawing in another drawing i drew myself more like as a when I was like 12, 13, this is more of the kitty version of me. And like, I'm not like a big gamer, but like, I love like Pac-Man, Kirby, like just like cartoon stuff like that. So I was like, you know, that's more of who I was then. And I just drew that in there. And then you get to the bigger piece right here. Um, this actually goes with the hoodie I have, but I'm not a hoodie, but like when I wear the hoodie, I like, get like boom, you kind of see the embodiment of the whole picture. This is the current me, so that's like when I'm holding it. So what I did for this one, I did it on like top board. I think that's what it's called, something like that. And uh, I watercolored the base of like pretty much everything in the outer part here. This part was uh, mainly uh, Prismacolor, color pencil, stuff like that. And what I did for mixed media around this here, uh, I took strips of paper out of uh, one of my favorite mangas, Naruto. Uh, and I used that to fill some of the space in the background because uh, this is more of a representation of who I am now, what I know I'm into, what I really want to do. Like I said, it was the power of fiction. So I kind of wanted to person personify. I wanted to personify Orion's belt. And I basically made the three stars who they are. So I kind of based this one off of a picture I have of me and my friends. Uh, I kind of put us in this setting of like a reddish space kind of. And I basically made us Orion's belt. Like we're the representation of it. This was kind of just like a random character piece I made. I watercolored it. I wanted to try and do more mixed media with it, but honestly... The only thing I could really do, I put like a, a that's an actual band-aid on him instead of drawing the band-aid. So this one actually is uh these are like like fake car keys, they're not like real keys, but they're like like these little cheap ones you get in the mail sometimes, like attached to like a pamphlet or something. The kind of the quote I went for this is that the key to life is the elements that we must balance. And it doesn't necessarily I'm not necessarily talking about like fire, earth, water, or wind, but just the elements in general that make up life. We have it we have the power in our hands to kind of balance those. And that's the power that we have. And we just have to figure out how to. It's up to you. You can choose it for good, evil, stuff like that. But you know, that's where that one came from. This was more of like a Grimart drippy effect I was trying to go for. And uh, that's just bas that's basically me. And that, that, that's the shirt. Hey. This one was inspired. This is also, once again, like uh, the power of fiction. So it's like, uh, I cosplay a lot. Not a lot, but a decent amount. So, like, me and my friend had did, like, a Dragon Ball Z cosplay uh, around Halloween. So, we kind of, we took pictures, and I kind of just took those pictures, and I was, like, I put them into an actual setting of if we were in, like, the actual Dragon Ball Z universe, kind of. So, uh, that's where that one came from. This one was kind of a little short. Uh, not short on time, but kind of just came out of nowhere. I didn't really have uh, much to say for this one. I kind of just gave him, like, a... Uh, if you don't watch anime or like if you don't watch Naruto, you wouldn't get it. But I gave him Renegon and Shining Guns in his eyes. Uh, this is a actual one of a. This is a rapper from Mississippi. Well, depending on well, Houston, Mississippi, whichever one you want to claim. But this is an ugly guy. If y'all don't know who that is, 
and uh, he went to school with us, so I was like, you know, I could draw him, put him in there. He's a pretty weird dude, so I gave him some a pretty weird look to it. I did this one on wood. So uh, I was just trying to go for like mixed media again, and I was like, well, what's the surface I haven't used? And I was like, well, I got construction class, and I was like, we got this piece of wood sitting here, and I was like, let's go for it. So I also, I watercolored this one too, because my biggest thing is I kind of wanted to, I could have did acrylic paint, probably did a better job on it, but I was in my head, like, I was like, what does watercolor do to wood? So I kind of, I coated it like, it's like three coats of watercolor of that color. This is, uh, this one was my friend Victoria. So I just drew her. Um, she got prom queen and uh, homecoming queen. So I kind of gave her like a little crown, fancied it up, put like little glitter stickers on there. This is my friend Morgan. I actually, I had an AP with her too. She's a pretty funny character. And um, I don't know, she just says like quirky things sometimes. She was like, um, so if cows are grass dogs, so that make like whales like blubber balloons. And I was like, I guess so. She's just a weird person. So I kind of did hers in all black. This is a just straight ink pen. I went in with gel pen. Kind of just drew her. This one, this is my friend Whitney. She's um, she's a pretty country girl. So I kind of just put her in like a country setting. And this is my friend Sarah. She's a, uh, she's Filipino. So I kind of did this one based off of like stuff she likes. So like I did like a Filipino flag. Uh... She really likes like Japanese culture and stuff, so I put like a little cherry blossom tree, did a little lantern, uh, I did like Naruto right here, a little lucky cat, and um, she reads a lot, so I just do some books in there too. This is one of, I did of Jughead Jones from Riverdale. Uh, it was just a good show, and I was like, I got a draw. Great show. I kind of kept, when I did these, I kind of, my breasts, I wanted my breasts to be a little bit more of my realistic style, so I kind of did a little bit more realism in these. So, uh, this is one, you know, old celebrity crush, my baby Selena Gomez, you know, had to draw her in there. One, sadly, but this is, um, one I did of Zendaya. So, uh, it came out nice though, I mean, I can add a background to it later. I was still trying to stick to, like, the theme with my breasts to do more realistic stuff. So then, um, this is one of, uh, one of my favorite rappers, Amine. Uh, yeah, uh, he did the song Caroline, if y'all don't know, you know. Honestly, I don't know. It had to be like fortune. It was like a fortune cookie project or something. Like we had to take our fortune, and my fortune was like, um, if you're not living on the edge, then what is it? Then you're taking up too much space. So I kind of just did like somebody like just following their dreams. I just made them jump off the edge of a building. They were like, you know, just exploring like the stuff that makes them happy, like a crazy world. I just did like doodles and a bunch of just random stuff that I know, like you know, just you know, just setting yourself out there, you know. And just everybody else was just like, what? Like, wow, is he really doing this? That's crazy. I actually wanted another different my summer project. This one was, uh, we had to find, this one I actually struggled with because, like, I waited till, like, the last minute to try and figure out what I was going to do. Because, like, one of our projects was, had we had to put ourselves in a box and put it in there in a creative way. And I'm like, how do I put myself in a box in a creative way? And then it kind of hit me. I was like, well, why not just draw, like, a Facebook like a Facebook, like the profile page. So that's what I did for this one. So I had to, you know, put a box inside of it, you know, put myself in a box in a little bit more creative way. Uh, that was all my breasts and concentration. So, you know, uh, style out, homie, keep it up. Deuces.